So we just complete our event and this is something that I've never really shared with people. But a long time ago, I made the decision to become a speaker and speak internationally. So I thought to myself, what do I need to do in order to practice becoming a speaker and speaking internationally? I just completed my event here in Singapore um, and that's why I'm wearing a suit next to a pool. But I remember the thought process that I had was, okay, to be good at this, I probably need to practice in front of a camera and start doing videos. So I shot my first video, I put it up on YouTube. This was about five, six years back then. And three days later, I saw this comment that says, you know, Ping Jun, you'll never make it internationally or become a speaker with this Ching Chong accent. And I remember when I saw this comment, and I wish I didn't delete it because back then, you know, it just, it, it was very disheartening. But when I saw that comment, I remember thinking to myself that, hey, you know what? This guy's right. You know, chances are, what are the odds of this random Chinese dude from Malaysia being able to speak internationally? Now, this was six years ago. Fast forward to it today, now that I've spoken more than 20 countries all over the world, across the US, UK, Australia, and all over Asia, I realized that this was really just a limiting belief that I set upon myself based on what someone else said. And I realized that if at that moment I let his opinion define my reality, I would have never been able to do what I'm doing today. So at the end of the day, don't allow someone else's opinion of you define your reality. Your future is purely based on the decisions and action steps that you make today right now.